Thank you, everyone. I'll start with the first questions and then we can have hands up for questions. Thank you. Um, Linda, while I know it's not the result that you want today, how do you reflect on your time in Australia, which included a big win over the world number one? Um, yeah, well, right now it's uh, more of a, like, a, you know, negative or a sad feeling, so uh, I will probably just uh, think about this whole experience uh, back in, like, a few days from now, so... Yeah, I mean, great two tournaments, so uh, I'm just going to keep going. Questions, thanks. Courtney. Today. Um, just can you talk through the match? What do you think was the difference, and were you surprised at how um, she was kind of able to keep you off the baseline? Yeah, well, um, it was really hot today eh, uh, compared to other days, I think, so... The balls were flying a lot, and she was playing uh, really fast as well. So I kind of felt like I uh, wasn't like 100% on court uh, today. Maybe because of the fact that I didn't really, you know, play the previous match. So I had like two days off, let's say. So I kind of didn't uh, didn't manage to put myself and put my head into the match uh, from the beginning so she was just in late and in control the whole time so that was not what I wanted but I kind of couldn't do much with it. Sorry. It feels like world rankings are just a number in the, the Grand Slams and the Women's Tour sometimes. Do, does it give you confidence when you see these draws opening up um, and you know you can go out and beat the world number one someone can beat the world number five do, do you go into a grand slam and think there's no reason I can't be in the second week and further yeah I think especially in women's tennis there's a, there can be a lot of surprises uh, on a grand slam so um, yeah I mean if someone plays their best tennis they can beat a lot of good players so um, including me, so uh, some days are good, some days are bad. So uh, yeah, I I didn't really play my best today, so that happens. Matt, uh, sorry about today. Can you say about one of the players on the other side of the draw? Um, it's just Coco Goff, who played a couple of times and haven't beaten. I'm just curious, what makes her tough? makes her so tough or what has caused problems for you and other women of late especially? I mean she has a great serve. It's really tough to break her. She has a great movement uh, movement. She's athletic so uh, she has some great uh, ground strokes so um, yeah I mean I didn't really see yesterday's match but uh, um, it was I think tough for her because Marta she can play aggressive as well so um, I mean, she's one of the best players in the world, so that's us. Courtney? Sorry. Um, just in terms of taking the momentum and the experience uh, of not just Melbourne, but also obviously in Brisbane forward into February into the Middle East and then obviously North America, what do you think is the key to consistency? Like you said, a lot of the players can have their, their peaks, um, but the top players maintain. What do you think is the key for you to maintain? I'm still trying to find out uh, what I can do to kind of keep my level consistent or as, or at least especially where it is. So, um, I mean, we'll find out throughout this year probably. So, um I mean, I just need to be prepared for, I think, every tournament and, uh, um, yeah, just be physically and mentally fine all the time. Yeah. Were you really surprised that Diana's level stayed so high throughout the match? Were you expecting a dip there at all? I, expect, uh, I expected a tough match, but, um, I mean, I didn't play much of what I 
should have. So it's not that it was uh, easy for her to, you know, uh, be in front of me all the time, but I just didn't really... Um, I didn't have many winners or aces, so I didn't really help myself a lot. So, um, yeah, didn't really make it that difficult for her. If she plays at that sustained level, though, can you see her making the final, getting past the semifinals? I don't know. I don't know who she's going to play with or if she's going to maintain the level. So I don't think even she knows that or anyone else right now. Yeah. <laughs>